what up guys so I ended up ordering one on Amazon I ordered the small rig it's from small rig they actually have one it was like $37.99 uh, top is like 10 with this like wannabe carbon no oh, sorry looking at the screen up there carbon fiber kind of finish uh, and then the neck is actually pretty pretty stiff like I'm happy with this this part right here is kind of like a piece of metal there's like already a piece of metal in there that it's already fixed to this position here and then all here it's all flexed and then here at the corner again there is like another uh bit piece of metal i wish it was fully fully uh flexible but hey it is what it is so far it's going to work out for what i needed to do my next issue is trying to get it on a gimbal like when i use the gimbal that's gonna be like my next issue i really want to figure out how i can get something for the gimbal that moves with the gimbal this top piece is extremely light though so like i'm even thinking about the screw uh, possibly unscrewing this here and fixing something to maybe the top of the, my phone or something that it's part of or for example if i was to put this on my gimbal i want to have this already on top and kind of sitting there so no matter where the gimbal faces it's kind of i don't know i'll have to experiment with that i think it's going to work out really fantastic it's going to make a huge difference in the footage if you guys haven't seen this other video where i did a little bit of a before and after you should take to take a look at that i'm going to go outside really fast and grab a couple of shots but i already know it's going to work so <laughs> all right 35 minutes later i did it luckily i always keep all these extra nid bits and bid bobs and bb boos and I rigged this up and now I got it. Here's the true test. We're gonna power it up and see how it holds. Here we go. I'm using the Moza Mini P. And I think we're, uh, we're powered up. Woo! Woo! Hang on here, let's let it do a, let's let it calibrate itself, a little auto calibrate. Boom. There it is. Let's go outside and get some shots. I forgot about something. It's pointless if I don't have that ND filter on here too, because I have to have the ND on here. So let me try to re let me rebalance it with the ND filter. And on the Moza Mini P, if you hit the up on the side here, there's an up zoom and a down zoom toggle. If you hit it three times, one, two, three it goes into an auto mode. Or maybe it's down one, two, three. Down one, two, three. And then it's gonna do a recalibrate. So let it do that. So we don't burn out the motors. I chose to use this one because at first I was going to use the Zhu Yin, uh, Zhu Yin M2, but uh, it wouldn't, it, I couldn't get it to balance. It's just the, the top here. On the Moza, I can I can just back and forth. I can just up and down, and then sides and side. It's just like the the, the Moza uh, Air Cross Two, but like a smaller version. And this thing is solid, man. This thing like for things like this, I know because it can handle my Canon EOS M. So I know if it can handle my Canon EOS M, it can handle this rig. So that's why I immediately took this section here and put it on the gimbal. And I think now we are ready to go get some shots. Now it's not a very super sunny day, it's actually cloudy. So it's like actually a good day for filming without this. But I'm gonna try to find the sun and get some direct sunlight. I think the sun is right about where it was last time that I did this video. It's about the same time. And let's go ahead and rotate around. I think the sky is a little bit blown out here. Let's see if we can get it a little bit better. Let's kind of tweak on the ND filter here a little bit. There we go. So I'm using wide gamut 
uh, A Y gamut, M log 80. So I notice M log 60, I get a little bit more highlights. If I go to M log 100, I get a little bit more shadow. So I'm right here in the in the middle. So I've been experimenting all week with the M log and the A wide gamut. Working out pretty good here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little rotation here. Again, it's, I need a really super bright day. It's a little bit cloudy, so I really can't tell like before, but I, I think it's definitely going to make a big difference. It's definitely gonna make a big difference here. All right, guys, so this is like the next day. Super sunny, windy. So it's a good test to test it in the wind and it's super nice and bright in here. I'll do a quick little 360 here. I can clearly see that the lens is not even being hit by any of the sun's ray. We're right about there. It's kind of the sweet part at the bottom of the lens. If I aim it up a little bit, you're gonna get the sun. There we go. Boom. This is actually working out really well. Even I'm surprised even on the windy day, like this is handling pretty well. Again, it's all about the gimbal strength. The gimbal strength is pretty strong, so it should be able to handle the wind. I mean, it's not a super windy day today, but it's pretty good. All right, I do see an issue. I repositioned the forward weight onto the right side, and now it's actually in the shot here. So unfortunately, I don't have the tools to fix it right now. So I need to basically slide it back to the original position I had it. Um, so you don't see this part here. So kind of a boo-boo, but it's, again, I'm just trying out different setups, trying to see if I can get this thing to work. All right, here's a great example. I still got the ND filter on and I got it open all the way up to minimum. Here I'm all in the shade here. I'm using M log 60, which I use for super bright. Now I'm gonna go down to M log 100 so you can see the difference here in the shadows here. All right, everything's the same. All I did was switch to M log 100. Now you can see how what it did to the, it really lit everything up. So I'm finding out that like in M log 100 best for low light situations, M80 is in between, and then M60 will be really good for bright situations. Again, using the AY gamma in combination with all these. Hi, well, this setup has worked out really nice. I just need to reposition this back to the original position. And um, yeah, holds up in the wind, holds up on a sunny day. And I'm um, really happy with this setup. Again, I'll have the link down in the description for this one. This is the small rig one, and there's also another company that I also found, so they also have one too. This works out nice. I got it on the Moza MP here using Filmic Pro, I mean, uh, MC Pro. So yeah, if you guys want like a little, I have a little uh, shot list of my pre-shot routines, the things that I always kind of focus on before I hit record. Uh, links down in the description. You can sign on to the email crew and I'll send you out some cool videos also to just help you guys uh, with just filming, uh, filming on the phone. And in the future, uh, cause I'm working on the, on the uh, mobile photography, mobile filmmaking guide. I also have that, you'll be up to date on when that drops. And some of you guys may even get a little bit of beta preview. So stay tuned, peace.